Yo, what's up guys? Good morning. It is about 7.30 uh, in the morning and I'm packing the Jeep, uh, all this stuff right here. Um, we are gonna head to the Moore Expo. Uh, I'm really excited to see some cool gear, uh, to hang out with some friends and meet some new friends. So, um, also gonna regroup with my buddy Harry. Uh, he's gonna come with me. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna check out some cool stuff. We're gonna camp at uh, S'more, um, Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch. Um, and take a, a cool scenic three hour trail in between. So it's gonna be pretty fun. So yeah, um, let's load up the Jeep and hit the road. All right, so we're all loaded up. Uh, we're gonna go get some gas real quick. And uh, then we're gonna hit the highway for like two hours. I'm not gonna film anything on the highway. It's gonna be boring anyway, just getting there. Um, but yeah, once we get there, I'll just turn the camera around and start showing you guys some cool stuff at the expo. All right, guys, we're here. Park we'll park over here. Trying to find a spot. Ah, oh, so many cool rigs here. Well, we're done with the expo. Uh, holy crap, the thing was really cool. I wanted to buy every single thing I saw. Met some cool guys, met uh, the guys at Express Rally, met Aaron, really cool guy. Um, met Ar uh, Artemis Overland, um, uh, what's it called, Adventure Motors, um, a few other really cool vendors, uh, Overland Addict, of course. Met up with Chad. Uh, but yeah, so we are almost to S'more. Uh, once we get there, uh, I'll turn the camera around and we'll, we'll show you uh, I'm sorry, Harry. Shut up, boy. But yeah, we're almost to S'more. Um, when I get there, I'll flip the camera around and uh, I'll show you uh, where we'll be camping for the night. Well, we made it, and uh, there's a few 
Um, there's some tent camping over here. And then this big old field is the primitive area. So I think we might uh, find a spot back here. It's a really nice area. Alright guys, we just uh, made camp here. We're at S'more Off-Road Ranch. Got a nice quiet little spot in the primitive uh, area. So it's this really big field. Um, I think we're like one of the only people out here. So we got this whole little area to ourselves, kind of tucked in the corner. But yeah, I'll just flip the camera around and show you guys uh, our setup. Got the setup here. Gonna cook some dinner tonight. Here's the back, the gear and stuff. Show you the inside. And got my normal stuff. I think it's supposed to be pretty cold. Got some stickers, my sticker collection. I think it's supposed to be pretty cold uh, tonight. I think like right at freezing or maybe below or something, maybe 30 degrees, I think. Um, yeah, here's all the gear. Oh yeah, here's my air hose. Um, excited to test the onboard air system uh, tomorrow when we go wheeling, so should be pretty cool. All right guys, so as we're setting up camp, um, I thought I'd introduce Harry. Um, he's been in several of my videos before, um, but we kind of just want to walk around his Tacoma. Um, I've seen several questions uh, on the on the videos and the comments about his truck, so I figured we just kind of go through it, and uh, you can tell us what you've done to it, uh, the outside and the inside. So let's do it. So yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about like why you bought it, uh, why you chose the Tacoma, you know, over other stuff. And... So I initially was looking at a Subaru Crosstrek, uh, but after test driving it. I didn't really care for it. I ended up deciding. Hey, as you guys know, my wife has a Crosstrek, and we love it, and it's cool. It's but, a great car. But it's to each his own, right? Like, right, exactly. And I had, I was already driving a Toyota Corolla as a daily driver, <laughs> and my fun vehicle was a 1986 K5 Blazer, which I still own. But after driving the Crosstrek, thought it was kind of slow, just like the Corolla, and I wanted something, if not faster, maybe a little beef more beef with it yeah so i test drove a tacoma loved it i find myself a practical off-roader i go crazy over all types of off-roading vehicles and when they've got yeah. the winches and the in the bumpers like and the, the lifts yes the expo was <laughs> drooling everywhere yeah push come to shove i don't really want to spend the money i'm kind of scared to spend that mon amount of money on a vehicle uh that I also daily drive. So um, if you want to do a walk around now. Yeah, yeah, we'll go closer and check it out. All right, man, what do we got on the outside? Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, it is a 2016 Tacoma TRD off-road. Um, started off with a totally different grill. So I yeah, like this a cool grill, grill a lot better. I like the honeycomb style look. It looks a lot meaner than just, it was kind of just a, a thin grid, horizontal yeah. look. So uh, I've actually got an inch and a quarter spacers on stock wheels with uh, BF Goodrich all terrains, yep. like KO2s. Yep. Uh, I've just got a spacer lift. Um, what I, size tires? I think 285, 75, yep. R16. I think the wheels, uh, the tires fit the wheel well really well. Yes. So I, it look, it look, that's got a good stance. And this is a three, three inch lift? Three inch lift. Okay. Uh, it just blocks in the rear as of right now. What do you got uh, on the bed? So I have a Voodoo fabrication rack. Um, he makes a great product. It, everything's modular with his products. Um, you can do 15 inches, 10 inches, as tall oh, as you want. Cool. He, he has tons of capabilities on his website. Cool. Uh, rooftop tent. CVT? CVT. Uh, owned it a year and a half now. Just, just as long as the rack, obviously. By far my favorite thing I've ever purchased. But I was in Boy Scouts for 12 years and camped on the ground for 12 years. Yeah. Uh, Never again. I don't want to do it anymore. I did it for 12 <laughs> years. So uh, I wanted to, you know, take my camping off-road. Mm -hmm. 
in comes the tent. This is an entry level tent, um, two person tent. I think it's the Bachelor, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, it has a three inch memory foam mattress. Uh, it's very comfortable, more more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. That uh, and then I've got some camping boxes and and they're nothing. Yeah, what do you do for like storage and you know carrying your gear and stuff? Well, I think I purchased this box about three or four years ago to hold tools in the back of my blazer. Then when I started camping more, I bought this one at uh, Tractor Supply Company. Both of these are actually at Tractor Supply Company. This is a cooler that I uh, apprehended from my dad. Uh, my favorite box and something that I like to show off. Uh, this thing is freaking cool, man. Is, is my best made box. It's got your initials on it. Yep, um, I had them put the, my initials on it. It handles the beating that I give it. Um, it sits in the back of the truck. Um, I use pretty much all my, my towing gear, my heavy duty gear, ropes, um, all this stuff gets put in here. Um, but uh, it gets the job done. I put the tools, basically tools and hardware, mm -hmm. heavy things I put in here. Um, I just like the way it sounds when the, when the yeah. button is Still yet, nothing incredibly fancy. So, I have some patches. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing fancy or fun or cool, um, but I wanted to add a little bit yeah, of flair. Some character, yeah. yeah. I used a ram rail uh, up on my dash. Then I used my phone, a ram mount here and a ram mount here for my iPhone and my iPad. iPhone is just a phone, plays my music and calls people. Mm -hmm. But I used this iPad for my Gaia. Oh, I'm watching The Office. In The Office, yeah. Uh, but it's it's awesome. So the, my my probably fanciest feature is where I've mounted the uh, CB radio. It's just a piece of Velcro, sticky Velcro, holding it in. And you have a speaker too, yeah? I have a speaker, yes. The speaker is mounted through here as well. Anything special in the back? Not really. I just like folding down the seats. You because carry your dog this... back here, right? Like Yeah, yeah. Time. My dog, June, she'll sit back here. I've got my air compressor here. I've got a, a cool little machete right oh, yeah. there first aid kit zip ties a heavy duty flashlight some gloves um things that i don't want to get wet pretty much stay in here right uh i'm always carrying flashlights and extra battery packs chargers i do have one more thing uh i do want to point out you can go off road with just about any four by four vehicle it doesn't yeah, take yeah. an up a super upfitted forerunner or jeep or anything this is super basic yes it has a rooftop tent but i've got a three inch lift with all terrains and i can go just about anywhere this big jeep can yeah well cool um yeah we're just gonna chill and uh when the sun sets we'll make some dinner and uh call it a night and like i said earlier we're just we'll just get some footage of us trailing tomorrow um should be pretty fun Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Uh, it's the next day. I uh, just had breakfast and tore down camp. Um, so now we're finally gonna hit the trail. We're gonna do the uh, s'more to more route um, that Express Rally created. Uh, I think it's about a three hour trail or so. Um, I've been told it's running a little slow because of some washouts and stuff. So uh, I think it's gonna be about three and a half. Um, so I'm sure it'll take us a little bit longer to stop and film and everything, but yeah, excited to actually get on the trail and um, do some wheeling. So yeah, I'll bring you along and uh, film some cool clips. All right, it's probably about two miles or so down the road and we're just airing down real quick. I'm running uh, 20 PSI. Usually run like 16 or so on harder stuff, but like I said, I think this will be a pretty easy trail.
Hey guys, we just finished the route um, from more or s'more to more um, that the Express Rally created. Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, the middle section was kind of okay. Um, it was mostly road in the middle, um, but I understand there were there were some constraints to connect uh, the two locations. But uh, nonetheless, had a good had a good run. Um, we are about 15 minutes away from a gas station. Um, we're just gonna go there and uh, air back up, and then hit the highway back home. Um, about an hour and a half uh, of highway time until we get home. So, yeah, it was a really good trip. Um, the expo was really cool. Uh, met met a lot of cool people there. Um, met some new subscribers. That was really fun. Um, had a great time. Had a good uh, good night last night camping. Ate some good food. Um, had some good times with Harry. So. Yeah, just uh, downhill from here, literally into Arkansas. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate, uh, again, all the love, all the support. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.